Oh, nice to meet you. Good. Hey, hey Mitch. Mitch. Nice. Oh, run me over. What's up, Scott? Nice How are you? I'm Mike. You always film me. I'm usually, oh, yes. Nice to meet you, Scott. She's got a monkey. You I'm got you. a monkey on your, you're monkey oh in a gosh. Hi, Luke. Hey. Nice uh, to meet what's you. What's the monkey's name? Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon. I think Mitch and the monkey just became best friends. <laughs> yep. Do you want to say hi? Hey, monkey. Swap? Hey, buddy, swap. Mm, well, no. Maybe not. Maybe later. This is all a little new to her. She is well, not usually a crew member on board right. the Space Between, so and today I she is. resemble a gorilla <laughs> with her a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're higher up the food chain. Yeah. So you guys have your own YouTube channel. I've seen it. Thanks for inviting us out here. Oh, thanks, oh, for thanks for coming. We are really so excited. Uh, you guys are going to get Four. some new countertops. So I can't wait to see your boat. I can't wait. We're actually sleeping on the boat. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Actually, see, you each have your own room. Wow. I've never been on a boat like this before. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Hey, hey, hey. I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation every single day, every, every single day. Everybody sour like a lemon tree. I'm just smiling down upon my enemies. Do the shit and love it on a day. So today we have some exciting news. We have the gentleman from Stone Coat Countertops coming to do Stone Coat Countertops on our kitchen counters. But first, we have to remove the induction cooktop that we just put in. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't come out quite as easily as it went in, but. So we had to pull the rest of the appliances and faucets and we drained the water down out of both the RO and the main house. Disconnected all the heads on everything and then just lifted them straight out. I know I made it sound easy, but it really wasn't. Remove the socket covers and we're ready. But you're feeding the crew? So I'm beginning to think I may have overquoted, as this is how many boxes of product they shipped to us for this much countertop. I measured, but I have a feeling I may have measured incorrectly. I could <laughs> converting the square feet to square inches, or vice versa. Nice How's it to going? meet you. Good. Hey, hey Mitch. Mitch. Nice. Oh, run me over. What's up, Scott? How nice are you? you? I'm Mike. You always film me. I'm so. usually nice yes. To meet you, Scott. She's got a monkey. I'm you got a monkey on your. You're monkey oh in the gosh. Hi, Luke. Hey. Nice uh, to meet what's you. What's the monkey's name? Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon. I think Mitch and the monkey just became best friends. <laughs> yep. Do you want to awesome. go say hi? Hey, monkey. Swap? Hey, buddy, swap. Mm, well, no. Maybe not. Maybe later. This is all a little new to her. She is well, not usually a crew member on board right. the Space Between, so and today she is. resemble a gorilla <laughs> with her a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're higher up the food chain. Yeah. So this is Mitch. Hi, guys. How's it going? And this is the camera guy, Hello. Luke. Hey. And this is the other brother, Mike. What's up? What's up? Plenty we have, we have of material number, to work with because yes. there's like eight boxes of I'm like, yeah, we, I'm like I always, think I measured wrong. We <laughs> said a lot and then I know you guys had a table that you were talking no, about. We so I wanted you to have enough to do your table. Oh, that's yeah. nice. well, I appreciate that. Heck that's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. So here we are. We're back on the space between and we have got a special guest today. We've got Mike and the crew from Stone Coat Countertops. You need to go over and check out their channel. They have done some amazing stuff and we have them on board and they are going to redo our ugly Corian countertop. Sweet. Sweet. So we're looking really forward to it. We're really glad to have them on board. Stay tuned. On the way over here we learn you have a pirate ship, you have monkeys, and you have a boat. Time out zip line from pirate ship to pool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is going to be the best video ever. We'll put a list together and then say, here's what we need, whatever you have, you can show us and then we don't need to get it. 
So the very next morning, Mitch had his uh, breakfast of champions. They made their list, checked it twice, and then we headed to the depot for supplies. <laughs> Are you losing your drawers? Because I got it on video. Guys, first step is the prep. How important is prep? Very important. Right? So when you're working on your boat and you're going to do a project, you want to protect what's already there. You guys have done a lot of projects on this thing already, oh, haven't you? you? Yeah, yeah. And if we don't protect it, you're going to get me in all kinds of trouble. All right. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Let's prep this boat. So we were all watching intently as they prepped the boat. And yeah, all of us. What airline lost your luggage? Oh, we're not oh, sure. Delta or Alaska. One of them. One, One of them. them. We ain't bringing them on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have uh, four bags, uh, three bags we can load up. Oh, right. right. Well, they'll just lose them. <laughs> I'm upset about my team. You donate them to Delta. That was the last pair of size 13s in James Footwear. I'm upset oh, no. about you don't have to worry about it when you're working. Right. You're yeah. not going to get any, you get to concentrate on making a cool top. Not okay, how I get the message. You can put <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't a dig, it was a compliment to them. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. It was a compliment to them the first three times. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a dig on me. I, I got this. Them. Yeah, nice. right. <laughs> They're oh, in well, right. my So my brother doesn't have to wear ladies' underpants anymore. <laughs> I'm chafing. <All> right. <laughs> Pro tip: How do you get perfect lines with masking? Holly was talking about trim meeting sheetrock. How do you not get the paint to bleed behind the tape? You tape it off. You use painter's caulking. You caulk that joint first, then you paint, and it peels off with a really crisp line because the caulking fills in any texture so you get crisp lines that's how you do it oh we always say the difference between don't check good my, and great is don't check my lines up front then <laughs> let me look at the amount of prepping they've done well if we're cocky and tell you we can we know what we're doing come out and screw up your space and be like uh they suck <laughs> this is true they're, what i hear is they're afraid we have a youtube <laughs> youtube's good uh Good at getting the word out either way, right? Yeah. right? All prepped up, got it all cleaned up. What do you guys think so far? Oh my gosh. You made you me guys, look bad. You, you really made me look bad. Ridiculous thing I had her I had her convinced what prep was until she saw yours. And that just now we got the prep done. Guys, we're gonna do our bonding primer. Bonding primer is important. You guys have a solid surface counter, which is nice. It doesn't harbor bacteria, but it doesn't want to let things stick okay and so the bonding primer really makes that happen it's the magic sauce that makes epoxy stick to non porous surface I got you. so we're gonna roll that on just like applying paint you ever painted anything before oh yeah apply A to B right yeah A to B let's get started that's a special coating that you guys um, sell yeah this is bonding primer for going over uh, we don't need this when we're going over MDF or anything like uh, wood or something that's porous because it'll soak in and bite but when it's like a hard plastic or ceramic tile or granite or something like that that you want to coat, you need a bonding agent to make the two stick together and that's what the bonding primer is So, Mike is priming while underway. An yes. Another first. This is totally. a first. We, we are moving. We are moving. We're moving and we're priming. What better way to wait for paint to dry than to go sailing? Right. So, that look at all. That is very true. This is definitely the coolest job site project ever. It is. Hey, cannonball, let's go. Wow. <laughs> now that was a cannonball. Oh, that is so nice. Woo! So while we're underway on the way back into port, Yes. Mr. Mike gets a wild hair up his ass to do what now? We're going to do the base color on this bonding primer. We're going to get it ready. So tonight, we're going to pull a late night and get some color code on this thing if you guys are down. So the first time ever doing a countertop in a boat yeah. underway. Underway. Yes. Uh, we're making history. We are making history. <laughs> yes. Oh. My video called him and mom's like, you're sailing. And Jake says, I want to sail. <laughs> All right, so TSA in Oregon, we were coming through the airport 
and Holly and Scott really wanted some glow powder in their countertop. Last minute, we're thinking, how are we gonna get it there? We shipped it just to be in case, but I go, I need to bring some, I'll risk TSA, because this looks pretty suspicious coming to Florida, right? It looks like maybe something else that it might be. And so we put it in a jar, it's in its baggie. It is the blue glow powder, right? But it's in the baggie, it's in the jar. Going through TSA, I actually got busted for the string attached to my shorts, but they didn't stop us for the glow powder. <laughs> <laughs> the blow, I mean glow yeah, powder. Blow, yeah. Oh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a sample board. The reason sample boards are important is because you get a footprint and a template of what you want to do on your project without having that stress of, oh my goodness, this is my, my countertops. You get to really play, relax, and see the abilities that you have using epoxy. So we have our additives laid out, we have our colors that match the bow here, and we're going to show the technique that we're planning following our tropical storm recipe to really make uh, this boat unique and have the countertops match the theme and the color scheme, and we're excited to get started. Me too. <laughs> Holly, this is the moment we've been waiting for, right? Yep. So I'm let's choose here. color. I think, Scott, you told me who's in charge of color. The boss right here, Holly. <laughs> so what's your vision? What what's the what would you like your counters to look like or what's important to you? I was trying to bring the ocean inside. Okay, you like the ocean. What color is the ocean here in South Florida? Uh, no, no, we don't want that ocean. We what want, color? We want the Bahamas. The Bahamas yeah. ocean. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So a lot of seafoam, aqua. Gotcha. Mixture. Gotcha. You know what I like about some of our uh, additives is you can adjust the color by mixing them together. You can also adjust the color by adding base and metallic or base tint and base tint or spray paint and, and all these different things in conjunction with each other. They cause reactions and the reactions somewhat fight each other or repel each other which gives you these natural stone looks that just kind of happen easily yeah, so that is awesome it doesn't take a lot of talent it's just knowing how those things react to one another i don't know about the not a lot of talent <laughs> we'll see <laughs> do you want to show me like let's start with the metallics here what which of these stand out that are colors that you that you like as uh, part of the this is palette? my very favorite okay i like that too okay uh, i like all all of them but these would be my top two favorites so these are your top two now one thing i want to tell you about this this is one of our uh this is one of our new things it's called our diamond Ooh. dust and the reason i like it it's a heavier metallic that actually creates almost like a quartzite crystallized look you know like a you're guy so that diamond dust creates like a, a quartz look almost it's like shiny it'll reflect almost like a glittery stone so we could test some of that in your sample and that's okay that's a good part about doing the sample is once we do it you can then look at the sample and go I really like this section this isn't my favorite but now you have a jumping off so point, you can right? tweak it and yeah. now you'll know what you want when you take your thing so you're saying you want to make some bingo this what did you like I really like that color but this color is cool that color is uh this I've used seen to be that in one of your other yeah uh, countertops that you put that in and it just kind of stood out this used to be our, our like brightest blue, and then we went blue on steroids, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. And that's it right there. So we're also gonna do some white, because the video that you liked, our Tropical Storm video, it had white base tint that we created, these large chunks are almost negative space. Mm -hmm. And those look up, so, so I'm gonna warn you, when we do those blobs of chunks of white, you're gonna go, oh my goodness, like you messed it up. But then we draw color in and we move it around. It. And Wait for it. it. <laughs> Bingo, you know it. Yep. You know it. All right, so what we'll do then is we're gonna mix up some clear epoxy, then we'll add additives in our clear cups. And the oh, reason okay. we do that is so then we can add those separately and they don't all meld and make mud. We can, we can then move them around. Perfect. All right. You guys ready? I'm yeah, ready. let's do this. All right, all I got is large gloves. So you're gonna have- oh, I have smaller. Here. Okay, all right, let's get some gloves on and we'll get started. Well, yeah. Cool. United States Postal Service. See how it starts to cloud up? Yeah. So when we start to mix, it'll become clear again, okay? So that's how you know you're getting a really good mix and it'll start to clear right up for you. Ah, strong my <laughs> Okay, say this one first. that's what we're going to push the epoxy around with, okay? okay? That's our expensive tool, all right? So, you like that the most? We're going to put this as kind of your underlying color. I'm 
put in that piece of driftwood on yeah. the other episode. Yeah, yes. I was in love with that piece of driftwood. Wait till you see it in real life like this, and it's. Love that Part, is, I don't get I was going to say, you have a prime or Yeah, it looks like a mess, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you good at finger painting class? If you, if you can't do this process with your eyes closed, it's too hard, right? So I tell people, don't overthink it. Just do it. Huh? The reactions do it for you. I'm, I'm serious about that. It really, it really does. You know, I've seen them do this stuff on their videos, but when you're watching it in person and you're thinking that this is what's fixing to go on your countertops, hey, you're wondering, go. what the hell have I done? Don't worry. All those colors will kind of come back for me and start creating some really neat effects. And then I'll add some of my spray paint and then do layers on top of that. See what that already starts to do? That was Holly's, um, no, not really. It starts to separate again, right? And it really does fun stuff. Pretty crazy just getting it out with the well, getting out with the sponge is just wet and dirty because you're just mixing color. And the sponge, you honestly you didn't use it that much. You just, just to get it out initially. It and the key with the sponge is not to over move it because then it comes one color. You right. see? So right. it kind of looks like you're doing that at first, but then they separate again. If you keep forcing it, it'll make it all one color. So you saw the sample board come together. Oh. You showed us what colors you like. You actually changed a little bit. You said, I like this color. Then when you were mixing, darker. Right? It looked, it looked more uh, sea foamy in the package and then the next day it looked darker. So then we moved totally to... Totally different color. Right. So that's important. Uh, uh, doing a sample board oh, really definitely. gives you a, a window into what everything is going to look like. Because single colors, when you move them and meld them together, it creates the entire package, right? right. So that's why the recipe is important, guys, because when you're creating a color recipe, it's not just one color, it's everything working together and that's why you need to choose things that complement your decor, right? Yeah. So we got the sample board matched. You guys are now gonna help me do the countertops. We believe in edge, educate, demonstrate, guide, enable. You've been educated, time to get rocking and rolling. Let's do this. You got this. Guys, we got bright silver, real teal, crater leg blue, white base tint, pearl and diamond dust mixed together and we're gonna throw a curveball because you want the Blue luminescence, bio iridescence, uh, bio what? Bioluminescence. And what is that? How does that work here? Those are little critters that live in the water, and when you stir them up, they glow. We're going to put little critters that live in the water and stir them up, and they glow. Glow. All right, we're going to do that right now. We're going to move it around with a sponge, and we're going to create tropical storm. Let's do it. Oh, you just ruined it. Keep moving. <laughs> you just ruined it. Now, that's, that's good with that color. Okay. Switch to another color. <laughs> and then stay in. Can I overlap? Yeah, totally. Shoot that. There you go. <laughs> Don't mold me. More? No, try another color. And you want to you want to get spread like not too much of one color in one spot. You know what I mean? There you go. Yep. Oh, look at that. See the sparkle in it? Mm -hmm. That's separate the that's green coming sick. through the bottom. That is awesome. All right, so you saw how I pushed it around. You going to go for it? Sure. All right. <laughs> I'll step out your way. That's yeah. You got push it around a little more. Push it, push it towards that back. Nice. Oh, this is going to be very, very cool. That's good. All right. So, why, Scott? Why don't you? Um, sometimes where it's hard, you can just grab it and just start painting it. But we need a little more. So let's add some colors back there and then move those around the same way. That's you guys are doing good. 
Yeah, and I'm thinking it's time to bail and let Mike do it. What the heck is this slop? And how am I supposed to fix it? No, you're good. Just... All right, use, use your sponge now and shove that back. So this is okay up here, the drips? No, we're going to have to redo your yacht. <laughs> we're going to have to haul out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, so you did the sample board. Mm hmm just so you could tell us what it could be like and then we'll come and screw it all up. No, you won't. No, you won't. It's it's going to be fine. You're doing good. Hello. Hello. This is Chuck. Chuck. Hello. Chuck. Hello. 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 Oh, now it's on high. Now it actually works good now. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? Use your air. It might come in more often, bro. Uh, a full, yeah, 64 is good. So I'm giving it that grain flow a little yeah, bit. There's that, more of that pearl too. I like this recipe a lot. Me too. Did you do what? Yeah, you did. Like, what about the gold dust? The sponge seems to be. If you if you'd rather use your hands, you could use your hands too. Is it gonna make it look different? A little bit, but that's okay. Move it around with that uh, torch after that. See see what you think. <laughs> I feel like I'm finger painting. Can you see? Like My theory is to... It's different. It's yeah. Start moving it with the heat. Yeah. Um. I, I, like, I like this look a lot better than... Okay, poorly. add a little bit more of this on top to get more of that green to come out. Okay. And then add, uh, and then start blowing it around with that heat. That's plenty right there. And then I would actually, we'll just take that stick, just kind of move that around a little bit. And then, re yeah, really force it down for a while. It'll erase the, the finger that, that you did it with the finger. The heat gun and the, the air movement is your saving grace. It makes it look really natural, you know? All right, bring it back out. Uh-huh. That looks fantastic. Move that around with your hands to mix it a little bit. Yep. There you go. That heat gun's working, uh, uh, that blow dryer's working fine. I'm gonna like tie that together. And then, oh, watch your, let's actually get that spray paint now. I'm gonna actually, okay. can I put a few blobs of white? Yes, I trust you. Let's make it work, Mike. Yeah. You got this. No, you're doing This looks fantastic. I'm super stoked about it. Thanks, bro. My wife is constantly telling me to stop, leave it alone. It looks good. And then and then she'll get mad that I don't. And then and then she's like, oh, wait. I'm really glad you did that. Like, it, it, you keep going. Yeah. You do it. You do you. All right, Scott, if you don't mind, you can, uh, if you clean your hands, then you can help me with the spray paint. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Yeah, all you need is just to wipe them slightly. I don't know how hot that is. It's not very. Okay, no. what would you, you want this out? Right? Um, 
just leave it off like I wasn't sure if it was going to get overheated or what. I can't hold it. You need it directed somewhere. No, it's okay. Let's get the... Uh, Talk to me. Uh, next, we're going to do black and white, so I'm just going to add each of these. I saw that. Did you give some impression on I'm just going to add some black and white to those. I guess Dad didn't find the heat because he just disappeared too. Yeah, I noticed he didn't come back. <laughs> Film it's okay, that's the Oh, there we go. There we go. Right, just adds up. Like just... Yeah, yeah, we're going to move all that around. Yeah, I guess we you borrow your footage for this. Of course. Blow that around a little bit. Blow it out. Yeah, you got it. Boom. <laughs> Sick, right? I got it. I'm going to have to step in here. Yeah, I stepped on it earlier. I think we're good. It totally supported me. So. All right, here we go. And back out to Holly's table to um, finish the flip out leaf. It's amazing that black just makes it pop. Yeah, it sure does. Good call. I'm going to get that torch and move that around a little bit more. We should have put another set of gloves on. I know. I'll <laughs> clean it with ass. I'll clean my hands with with monster. <laughs> and just like that, a few hours after the uh, first pour had set up, it was time to put the clear over the top. We're going to use our 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel to apply the clear coat. This leaves the proper amount of epoxy on the surface. We've also put a bend in the trowel. That bend tells you the angle to use your trowel at. So when you trowel it out, don't get super tight because you're going to pull a lot more material off. You're going to keep it about at that angle and that's going to leave the right amount of epoxy on the surface where you don't waste anything, but you leave enough for it to self-level perfectly. Yeah, this doesn't smell bad at all. No, just the epoxy, no way. The pain. Does it even have a smell? A yeah, little bit. Not. So Mike found a bug in the final coat, picked it out, Holly had a cow, and then... Mike's picking buggers. If I fix this, you guys are going to be shocked, right? Yes. I mean, no, uh, but yes. When you start doing that in front of people after you got their counters on one, they freak. Just give it a chance to... It's, uh, it's going down. <laughs> Now it's closing up. You just, people will sit oh my God, it's gone. overdo it. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I could it. see it with the light. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's it's nice. We got it though. It's going to get crazy. Yeah, you okay? You too. Oh. Oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. And just like magic, it disappears. To this day, we can't tell where that bug landed. So at this point, we just sit here and watch glue dry, basically. But man, does it ever look good. Once it hardened, we got our inspector on board. She took a good hard look and... The countertops are done. They look absolutely phenomenal. Thank I could you. not have even imagined it looking any better. And yep. they've dealt with a crying monkey for the last <laughs> however many days and 
whatever. So I am going to give you guys as a small token of our appreciation some sailing the space between oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You've been uh, drawing off with the Sailor Man version of, of these towels all uh, week. This is going in the podcast room. This These is towels awesome. are awesome. Yeah. yeah. So they wow. travel real well, and if you travel with them, you can always take pictures. Put it on the gram and tag us. Oh, tag yeah. Us. yeah. That's all we ask. That's uh, cool. Towels travel worldwide. Good marketing. I know. The one departing once. shot. These guys, they make a great product. Let me just tell you, the product does what it says it's going to do, and it looks like it looks in the videos. It's not. Uh, smoke and mirrors and they put so much time and so much energy into the chemical compounds and into their powders it just it it's amazing what this stuff can do it really is and even a monkey can do it <laughs> <laughs> guys what was your biggest takeaway let us know in the comments below mitch how was your time here brother i loved it uh this boat is amazing i've never slept on a boat those countertops look like you're flying over the ocean looking down I got to kick it with a monkey. Way cool. How do you beat it, guys? Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. And until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. Oh, you got <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. No, so we'll do that one more time. Three, two, one, action. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Visit Sailing the Space Between on YouTube. And until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you on the next video. Show them, Mooney. Show them how pretty. And that's a wrap. Just want to say a quick thank you to the people at Stone Coat Countertops. They did an amazing job, and we really appreciate it. And I know we're the only ones with a Leopard 46 with countertops that look like these. Never at once. And it's, in it's the boss, isn't it? When you it? go live on Facebook, your likes blow through the roof. <laughs> Facebook likes the monkey. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, action. Are you guys getting value out of this content? Be like the monkey and press that like button. Thumbs up. <laughs> action. Guys, we met a monkey. This monkey is absolutely. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not know a monkey was coming back out. <laughs> Luke, Luke started. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh till he did, and I lost it. Because if we make Happy Holly, if we make Holly happy, happy Holly, we're good to go. <laughs>